what is up you guys welcome to the audience channel and in this video i would like to speak about chat gpt now rather than speak to you as to what chat gpt is how about i demonstrate to you what this tool is all about and all the possibilities of chat gpt now before i do that this tool was actually released on the 30th of november so it's been about 23 days since its release and what the market has done with this tool already is just amazing. It's just astounding. The possibilities, the capabilities are just amazing of this tool. And I know that you're going to go out there and start looking at all the possibilities, probably going into ChatGPT and signing up for an account so you can see all the possibilities. But my God, what you can do with this tool what it can do for you for your business for whatever it is that you would like to achieve you will be amazed at what this tool can do now as i said instead of me just telling you what the tool does how about we demonstrate what the tool does and then you can go off on your merry way and start researching more about this but i would like to assure you of this in the coming videos I'll be speaking about all the other possibilities which can be done or which things that can be done within a chat GPT because wow, what I've seen is just blowing things out of the water. And uh, there's so many tools out there which are AI tools, ML tools, and by AI we mean artificial intelligence and ML machine learning. And this one is just amazing. And part of the reason why this is amazing is because most of the tools out there which are said to perform some ML task or machine learning task or are typically paid for tools. And um, those which are not paid for do not necessarily or do not typically do a very nice job uh, as to what they promise. There are good tools out there, but wow, this is just amazing. It was created by OpenAI and um, as part of OpenAI, um you know ecosystem in chat gp uh chat gpt sorry falls under that ecosystem as well and um yeah let's just demonstrate what the tool can do so let's jump in the tool and start exploring the possibilities with the tool now as i said there is just so much which you can do with what you're about to see these are just examples what people have done in the past 23 days since the release of the product is just going to astound you. You know, it's just going to amaze you. And I know that you'll go out there, as I've mentioned, and do your own research about the tool. But the best way is just to jump into the tool. It's all free and start exploring all the possibilities. You know, people talk about people losing their job and how AI is and, and machine is going to start is going to start taking over people's job this is scary and you're gonna see in just a second now watch this so it says here or at the very uh, on the far left it gives us examples of um, you know what we can do it then gives us the capabilities of the tool and then lastly the limitations but to be honest once you start jumping in and using the tool you will realize that the limitations are nothing compared to what it can do and all it, does, it, it which it does require is just a little bit of finessing if um, you find that it's not giving you what you're requiring and it doesn't really take much finessing to really get what you're looking for so how about we start with the first example that says explain quantum computing in simple terms and i'm just going to use a different example because how I many definitely will be able to explain this so i'm going to, to say explain linear algebra so all of this is in the academic space including quantum computing so how about we say explain linear algebra and watch this look at that linear algebra is a branch of mathematics that deals with vector spaces and linear transformations between them so in a nutshell this is what the tool can do now there are tools out there which can do a similar job but this is just amazing you can actually take this information if you were asked to explain linear algebra and then uh, you know be able to provide this as your response as to what linear algebra is so watch this and this is also the amazing thing about the tool is the fact that it has memory of what it is that it has given you an answer to so i'm going to i'm going to uh, say um use 100 words to explain the above 
Now, as mentioned, it has memory of the conversation, okay? As you can see on the left-hand side here, it says linear algebra overview. And um, this is just the AI generated topic on the left here. So this is the conversation which we're in. If I want to, I can go to this conversation and start a new conversation or just continue with the one which I'm already in. Now, I have said here, explain the above in 100 words so it's going to take this information which explains linear algebra and it's going to give me an explanation in 100 words and in a simpler way watch this watch this linear algebra is a branch of maths that deals with vector with vectors arrays of numbers and the operation that can be performed on them and so on and so on in 100 words it has actually truncated all of this text and explained linear algebra in a much more simplistic fashion how about we say um say that in one sentence okay i'm really pushing the tool let's see say that in one sentence linear algebra is a bunch of math of maths that deals with vector with vectors and matrices and is used to model and analyze data and solve problems in various fields isn't that a simplistic way of explaining linear algebra so we've got the short form we've got the sort of uh, longer version and then we've got the longest version of what linear algebra is so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to delete all of this and i'm going to start a new chat uh, so with the new chat we have actually seen how the tool can actually explain complex topics but what if i wanted to write something maybe let's say i wanted to write a blog post and this is also where the tool shines so write uh write for me a blog of 100 okay rather let's say write for me a paragraph all right of 100 words um with um within the topic of cars okay and let's do that and it's going to write for me a paragraph of a hundred words in the topic of cars cars have it cars have come a long way since their invention in the 19th century today there are countless makes and models to choose from each with their own unique features and capabilities and it goes on as you can see here wow this is an amazing tool now i'm sure your mind is racing at the moment because you can give it anything the topic of cars the topic of physics the topic of maths the topic of content marketing social media advertising and anything actually you can talk about things in the um you know in the the law and it can actually write you privacy policies you can populate your website with you know content which is uh, or which pertains to the industry which you're in there is just so much that this tool can do for you but let's continue let's not stop there let's close this chat and as i mentioned um if you remember when we did the linear algebra is that we try to ask the tool to give us more condensed information of it is that we were trying to get it to explain and this is where the capabilities come in it remembers what you um or it remembers what user said earlier in the conversation and it builds on that it allows users to provide follow-up corrections and and then um trained to decline inappropriate requests okay those are just the capabilities now earlier today i actually asked the tool to do some operations for me uh within python now i know a little bit of, uh, um, about python which is a programming language and i said um uh, please use the print uh, function. Uh, let's I'm sorry. Let's say please, please use the print function in Python as an example. All right. Now, in case you do not know, in Python, the print function is what is used to display information. And as you can see here, it says print hello world, print 42, print, uh, this is actually pi, and then print true, print one plus two. Um, and by the way, pi is a mathematical uh, concept, um, not pi, the food, just pi, a mathematical concept. So look at this, it says print one, two, 
or print, uh, print one plus two, print one, two, three, four, and five, and so on and so on. Then I'm going to ask it to actually display the results of the print uh, function here. And all of these print hello, print 42 is going to be displayed as the result within the console here. So this is just an example of how you would use a print function, but we're going to say display the print results in this console. And it's going to actually display all the results of what it was printing here, which is essentially what the print function within the Python programming language actually does. So let's see that. So print hello. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, it should come up and hopefully in just a second. Uh, and this is what I was speaking about. Sometimes you just need to finish the tool just a bit so that you can actually get the answers which you want print um oh so rather let's say display the print results here okay let's see certainly uh to display the print function um print hello come on there we go print hello <laughs> hello world so this is what I was referring to. Let's see if it prints the rest. Oh, okay. So it looks like it actually uh, was referring to this conversation. And then what happened was when it uh, referred to this conversation, print hello, then obviously it says certainly to display the print, the results of the print function directly in this message, you can use the triple uh, backticks, uh, backticks, yes. And then um, it went on to actually print the results here. People are using this to debug their applications. People are using this to build websites. People are using this to um, write code. You know, people are using this to do anything um, within the technical space. There is just so much which we're going to see come out of this tool. People are going to use this to write content. People are going to use this to to do their resumes, you know. Um, in fact, there are companies out there already which use this tool to go through individuals or people's resume and then at the end, um, actually try and coax some information from those resumes so that they do not have to go through hundreds and thousands of resume. So the tool is just phenomenal. There is literally endless possibilities at this stage and it's going to become better as the years go by so funny enough early again this morning i actually used the tool to try and create my fiverr um, account and i'm sure when you think of fiverr there's just so many copywriting gigs within fiverr and you can use this to do copywriting you can use it to do videos you can use this um, you know, to do your titles, you know, in fact, let's do exactly that. Let's say generate um, five titles in the topic of um, in the topic of uh, uh, babies, babies toys. And let's see. Okay. 10 best baby toys for development and playtime. The ultimate guide to choosing safe and fun baby toys. There you go. <laughs> okay, uh, that is so amazing. Um, which is the best title uh, for starting a, or rather, let's just say generate, um, generate ten business names in tech for my startup. All right. Okay. Generate 10 business names in tech for my startup. And let's see, what does it give us? Tech works, innovation, innovative tech, tech zone. <laughs> oh, wow. Funny. And I love all of these. Wow. Oh, the possibilities, the possibilities are just endless. And guys, look, I know you're going to go out there and start doing your research. Please do that. And um, while you're doing that, please also consider subscribing to the channel. From tomorrow, I'll be uploading more videos as to what it is that I'm finding on the net that, pe uh, that people are using, you know, the tool for. There's just a lot that uh, individuals will be using the tool for 
all I did was just, you know, show you a few examples of, you know, what you can do with the tool. And in the coming videos, I'll be speaking a lot about what I'm finding, what are people doing, what are the possibilities and so on. And I'm really going to be deep diving into this tool. I think it's just amazing for content creators. It's amazing for developers. It's amazing for web design. It's amazing for building applications. It's amazing for automating tasks, which are just repetitive. It's amazing for generating content. It's just amazing, amazing, amazing. There is so much in the tool. And I actually saw earlier today an individual using the tool, um, you know, to build an application. And that was a, a application where you can calculate VAT, where you can calculate tax, you know, you can do accounting, you can do so much with the tool. One of the things which I've noticed is that in fact, you'll find this a lot is that the tool does not go out there and crawl the web, but it it has already, um, you know, in its AI has an already built in engine, which already has information about many things on the net. So all it does is it takes that information, uses the AI to generate and spit out content, which is relevant to your query. So um, maybe in the future, we will have the possibility of it going out to the net and actually, you know, um, crawling the net and giving us the results. I mean, as an example, if I say um, which which um, video has, okay, which video is trending on youtube.com. So of course it would need to go to youtube.com and search the platform. But if I say enter, you'll see that I'm sorry, but I'm not able to browse the internet, which is what I'm referring to. Uh, it cannot go out like, you know, Google and browse the web with its crawlers, which is what Google has. But maybe in the near future, we'll see a change in that. Maybe in the near future, we'll see so much, you know, put into the tool. In fact, perhaps we will see, you know, um, the tool have, you know, a voice generated response as opposed to text at the moment. And this is just amazing. And by the way, if you do like, uh, you know, what you're seeing and um, you've enjoyed and gotten some value from this video, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I really will be, you know, investigating the tool in much more depth and bringing this information to you. So please subscribe, please uh, like the video, comment down below and just share with me if you've heard about uh, chat, uh, chat to GPT. It's only been out for like 23 days and there's just so much coming with the tool, but we're still yet to see what it is that you know the um the team at, at uh, OpenAI is going to be doing with the tool so thank you so much ladies and gentlemen i really enjoyed you know putting this video together and um i know i'm stumbling over my words and so on that is because this was not scripted i just couldn't contain myself and i thought let me come to you share this with you uh, go sign up for an account start using the tool share with me in the comment down below what you've enjoyed about the tool and share with me all the possibilities which you've discovered and, I, and i'll be happy to hear about that and with that said i will definitely catch you in the next upload when i go into depth as to what else we can do with the tool but with that said do take care and i will definitely catch you in the next video take care